both of the front um, wheel speed sensors are now attached to the ECU um, using some three pin waterproof um, connectors so what we're going to do now is this is the um, engine management software we're going to click on traction control settings um, and on this screen you can see you can set up two different traction control uh, maps one for wet and one for dry and there's a switch on the dashboard which I can just flick to wet or dry and then the, the settings here will kick in both currently set to the same settings um, I need to have a play and um, see what differences there are between wet and dry and, and, and get it set up but fundamentally they've got sort of minimum guesstimates as to what the value should be based on the help file um, control is set to active and over here on the right hand side we've got the number of pulses um, per revolution of the rear wheel and that's four um, and the number of pulses per revolution for the front wheel um, I think it's around 30 I need to count them obviously it's got to be an accurate figure so I've just chucked in an arbitrary value at the moment um, the distance in millimeters per revolution of the wheel um, and the distance per engine rev um, in first gear so that's all done it says that it's the current ECU maps if I close that now and go back to the traction control real-time display screen um, the actual discs are free to rotate in the hubs because there's no bolts going through into the hubs and as the disc rotates theoretically the ECU should see a pulse on the um, on the sensor um, what we should be able to do is twist the wheel around and you can see it says right driven speed this is the right front wheel actually changes when I spin the wheel around so it is actually seeing the pulses from the um, casting on the back of the disc um, it's not that accurate at the moment I've got to have a bit of a play around and um, adjust the, the gap between the sensor and the teeth to get to a better feeling for the um, for the trigger signal to make sure that's the right um, voltage otherwise I'll get uh, inaccurate readings uh, and that basically is it so a little bit more playing around to do um, both sensors are now attached both rear wheel sensors are attached and that's what gives me full um, working traction control so it's just a case now some fine tuning some setting up and then some uh, some playing